Hey guys, so as you can see by the title of this video, I'm not going to be talking about my stuttering like I did in my previous two videos. In this video, I wanted to talk about my issues related to anxiety and, and, and OCD. Um, I've only been diagnosed for about a year and a half but I've had the um, issues since since ch childhood and they just progressively got worse over time and the main thing that will trigger my anxiety is certain sounds I have misophonia which is defined as a as a hatred of sounds and when I hear the trigger sounds they will make me very very a a angry and um, if the sound persists I will have a panic attack because of it and the earliest memory that I have of a sound um, triggering me is when I was six or seven years old and it was the sound of a of a door bell and um, the when somebody rang the doorbell I would get like really upset and um, tense up and then if they continued to ring the t doorbell um, I would just feel um, so overwhelmed I guess and just start crying because of it um, and today my main trigger sounds are smacking, um, chewing, crunching, and there's a lot more, but those are like the main sounds that get to me. And also loud music. Um, I can't be around loud music or large crowds of people. And even like family will trigger me. And it's upsetting because my mom's side of the family is pretty large so when we're up when we're when we're together on holidays and um, you know it's a, a lot of people and everybody wants to talk at once and talk over each other and then they want to have music playing in the background and that will set me off and I've had panic attacks um, because of it and it's really upsetting I guess that would be the main thing that's upsetting about anxiety because it prevents me from doing something that I really want to do and something that I kinda do like typically enjoy doing which is spending time with my family so on holidays I will mainly go with my dad's family because there aren't as many of them and it's much quieter over there um, the other thing that causes me anxiety is just worrying in general. Um, when I was younger, every time my mom went out, I would worry and obsess over the thought that she was going to 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 die um, while she was gone. Maybe in a car wreck, or the person that she goes on a date with turns out to be like some psycho and kills her so I would stay up all night waiting for her, and I would call her every 30 minutes or so and my my aunts and my uh, my uh, other relatives um, <clears throat> would make fun of me and call me like fatal attraction because of it and um, that didn't that didn't bother me we just joked about it but that was a big worry when I was younger and now my worrying is just like in general I worry about a lot of things even things that I know I don't really have to worry about and because my mind is always racing I have insomnia because I can't turn my mind off and stop worrying or having just random thoughts at night and um, they're not always bad or negative thoughts sometimes it could just be like completely random stuff that I can't stop wondering about um, and also 
when I do go to sleep, I have bad, 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 bad dreams often. And so then I will worry and obsess over those if it's something realistic, like somebody I love, that somebody I love dying or getting sick. Then I wake up and I can't stop thinking about it. And then I have to call that person or go visit them if I can. Um, so those are the main things that caused me a lot of anxiety and worry. Um, and also with my with my OCD, which causes anxiety, um, mine mainly deals with order and symmetry. Um, when I go to the grocery store and I'm putting away my groceries, um, everything has to be in a certain order and um, grouped together. And um, when I'm putting away things in my pantries and my cabinets, everything is perfectly aligned, like just right and facing a, a, a certain way and it takes me a great great deal of time to do it but it's just it's just something that has to be be done um, with driving also when I'm parking um, my car has to be perfectly aligned in the parking space um, I'll repark as many times as I need to um, just to get it right to where it looks and feels right to me. Um, I also have a thing with even numbers. Everything has to be in an even number like the volume on the TV or when I'm eating foods it has to be in an even number or it has to be a serving size. So for, for example if I'm eating like chips and the serving size is five chips, then that five is okay because it's the proper amount that you're supposed to have, uh, if that makes any sense. Um, and also, I only eat one thing at a time, and no food on my plate can touch, or else I will have to make the whole plate over again. Um, what else? I, those are the main things that are OCD related, um, I'm sure I'm missing some, but those are the main ones that I can think of. And also, I don't know if this is part of my, part of my OCD or not, but I get the urge or the compulsion, I guess, to make random sounds and noises and say certain words or phrases out loud and um, it can be anything like it varies but the main one that I do is like this um, squeaking noise and it's like <laughs> like that and I'll just do it until it feels right um, is the only way I know how to explain it and also I have this thing with like my shoulders where I'll like move my shoulders and or maybe like move my neck and head um, and I do it until it feels right I don't know how else to say it um, and also blinking like I'll blink like that and I recently spoke to my doctor about that because I've been doing it since I was a child um, but I thought it was just something that I would I would grow out of and um, I'm in my I'm in my I'm in my 20s now and I haven't grown out of it so um, I spoke to her and we're gonna see like what's up with that maybe if I have to have some testing done or something and the way I am getting treated for my anxiety now is um, I take I take medication um, for anxiety and insomnia. Uh, I take trazodone for it and at night and it helps me sleep and it has really lessened my anx anx anxiety. Um, my trigger sounds no longer send me into a rage when I hear them. Um, 
I still get irritated, but I don't get as intensely angry as I did before. And I don't have panic attacks related to the sounds anymore. Um, I will get a major headache if the sounds persist, but um, I'll, I'll, I will take the, the headache over the panic panic attacks. Um, I still get panic attacks um, related with other things and I still get the anxiety but it's not as often as it was before. Um, and currently I'm not doing anything to treat the um, the OCD. Um, I just do the compulsions and but I probably will um, seek treatment seek treatment for it pretty soon because the obsessive thoughts um, become very become very become very d distracting for me and sometimes I can have trouble um, concentrating on things so that is it I just wanted to share my stories dealing with my um, issues related to anxiety and 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 OCD. Bye guys.